Hi everyone, it's Muriel. So I'm back from my weekend retreat, the Wild Woman Scrapping Weekend Retreat. And it's local here for me uh, in the Pacific Northwest. And it's about 14 ladies and we get together every year around this time, the kind of the Halloween weekend. And uh, we go to this place called the Hobby Hideaway and we just crop all night. You know how it is. It, it's just a bunch of fun. So this year, um, <clears throat> as in years past, I'm always the one that brings and are, you know, known to create different stuff because I don't do albums anymore because I've done them all. My daughter's, you know, beyond the album making stage, even though, um, you know, I could do just some holiday picks. But I made some super fun, super cute snow globes. And I had been last year, um, I was in Joann's and she had, uh, not Joann, she, um, Heidi Swap had a bunch of her uh, snow globes, reduced price, as well as the lights that go inside. And then every, of course, Michael, you'll be able to find these uh, snow globes. This is a large one, but they do have them in smaller size. And you can see I used two. And, um... I just gathered a bunch of little trees and little animals and signs and magnolia houses and I just created a total of nine. So I'll show you three because of course they're going to friends and family and you know I just want you to get an idea as to um, how I created them. So I'll show you the first one here. Um, this is the one that I showed on Facebook for those who follow me. Um, really simple, really cute just a tree uh, that I took some tinsel and uh, draped it around the tree so to be sparkly. I have a uh, reindeer and there's a little arrow or directional sign inside here that says North Pole. And I got snow. The snow combination I use is um, two part Epsom salt to three part fake snow and I mix it up in a bowl and I put maybe three no more than three teaspoons of snow inside the dome because I do want you know I just want to cover the base and cover where you can see I glued it down but um, really simple so much fun I have very a uh, variety of um, tinsel here around this edge I have um, Heidi Swap Red Ribbon and some more um, tinsely trim. This is a Jolie's Happy Holidays sticker. And the base of this is made with those art, art, what is it? Um, from Michael's, their ornaments. You would decorate the inside and it had a little handle here. Well, I ripped that off and I covered it with some burlap. Let me show you here. This is just some burlaps that I had in my stash. I picked it up at Michael's. Really cute pattern. And basically just folded it in half and cut it. And that is the width, just about, of the base of that uh, ornament. And that's it. Really cute. These, again, are waterless globes. And, um, like I said, I had fun making them. I started Friday by Saturday. Late afternoon, I was finished. I had to come home and get more stuff to do. And I just came to get some more uh, ornament uh, Christmas tags to make. So I made some more of those. Here is another one that I created. This is with three little deers. Look at their spots. And that little sign says, Reindeer Parking. Okay, I've gone to, like, you know, I've been collecting these little things you know, Michael sells them in the Merry Minis. You can find some at the thrift store. Uh, you look in your own stash, you can find some. And this one here just has tinsel around the top. And uh, on top of the box is a cutout from some Christmas pattern paper. And I probably should put another layer of tinsel, but I didn't. So, um, and again, that beautiful burlap uh, trim. Okay, and that's the second one. And again, the there's enough um, snow in there just to cover their little hoofs. 
Okay, so that's my second one. And my uh, this little thing here, I could not wait to make because I had found a pack of these at Michael's. And this, you've seen it all over Pinterest. It's just a uh, tree that is engulfed in snow inside a little light bulb. And I just have some uh, red and white twine that is um, around the inner part of the bulb. And that can either be an ornament or you can give it as a gift and you can set it in a beautiful roll of washi tape so if you it's like a two gift you give them washi tape and you give them this little thing here and they can have it on their desk or um, wherever in their craft room so I made a ton of those just trying to use up those trees that I have and then here is the third one this was the one that is made with the Heidi Swap jar okay this is a glass jar and um, inside this one here, I have three of the white trees and I have a little magnolia house. I also put some snowflakes. I kind of glued them on the jar. Same thing, the red ribbon, the tinsel trim, and then the happy holiday sticker. Now this one here has underneath it the, um, the lighter and I'm going to find a little cue stick so that I can turn it on. I have it glued to the base but um, it takes a minute to get my bony fingers in here to turn it on. So there it is turned on and um, you can see the little tree. Let me see if I turn one light out. Will that make a difference? Oh, I guess that kind of sorta there's a little tree in the little uh, um, magnolia house. So that was really fun. And you can find those um, lights all over. I've seen them at Michael's. Um, I've seen them at the Dollar Tree. And this one again has the sticker. And you just tape the base underneath. I have it mounted on three pieces of um, mount foam tape this dimensional here see I just took one two three off stacked them on top of each other and then um, stacked it on and then placed it uh, stuck it underneath it and this one here is a really fun um, I put a sticker on the house that says um, a good home it's one of those magnolia homes I was gifted um, several of them already cut out by Amador so thank you so much Amador for uh, cutting those out and sending them to me. So those are my snow globes. Again, this is just the three that I made. I still have uh, six more. Um, and basically, this is what I want to show you. This is how the start of your um, jar will look. This is the lid, the, the base that goes underneath this uh, lid here. So that screws off and then this is what's on here so you glue down whatever you want and I'm not going to use this for this bulb because I think the bulb is too big so I'm gonna have to go get another one um, but if you wanted to use something tall this would be perfect for example I have some of these that I purchased I think at Michaels these are the chalk stands and you can use some white chalk writer and write anything you want. Merry Christmas, uh, reindeer parking, um, let it snow. And this can be glued down to the base. And then you can put a couple of trees, a couple of reindeers, and that can go inside the bigger globe. So this is one that I did, but I let um, dry. I let them dry overnight. I use E6000 glue and let them dry overnight. And then the day after I started putting them together. So it would look like that. Okay, so those are my snow globes. I'm so glad um, that I was able to finish them and show them to you. And if you have any comments, please leave them down below. And welcome to my new subscribers. And I hope everyone has a wonderful evening. And go Hawks. Bye now.